All right, this is a video of my setup. What can I got going on? I'll just take you through. This is my room, some posters, and some scaffolding, some more posters, some mold. It's good life. Yeah. So I just switched over in the summer to get a new Mac Mini instead of my MacBook, which is over there. But uh, yeah, just because a lot of the work that I was doing, the laptop couldn't really handle like big Pro Tools sessions or like bouncing out long podcast episodes and stuff. Uh, it would get just a wee bit tired and also for like video editing and stuff as well. So that is why I'm using this. Uh, I'll go through the specs of it now. It's a six core Intel, it's a 2018 version. I upgraded it to 64 gigabytes of RAM just so that it could handle having stuff. That was like in the other one, I couldn't have like anything open at the same time as Ableton or something like that, or it would get really uh, tired. So yeah. It's pretty good, does the job. I've enjoyed it so far, but would recommend not upgrading to Big Sur because I did that and it completely got mucked up and I ended up having to take it to the Apple store last week and they downgraded it back to Catalina, but then I had to download all my plugins and everything again. So would recommend against that highly. So yeah, I've got this Mac Mini. We've got two hard drives now because of that incident where I had to back stuff up. Uh, but yeah, work mostly off hard drives. Got my eye lock in here. And then this is connecting up to my Focusrite Scarlet I 18i8, which has got, let me check, 18 ins and eight outs. Uh, it would make sense, 18 i8. But yeah, 18 ends is, yeah, handy. I don't really, I've never had to use a lot of them. Probably the most I've used at once is like six and a few at the back. And yeah, it does the job. It's great just having it right here. Uh, headphones port, two of those. So if I've got somebody else here, I can put that to a headphone extender or something. And the headphones that I use are Audio Technica uh, ATK MX M50Xs. Pretty standard. I've had these for a few years now, and they've had no issues. And I do. I used to make literally everything with headphones. But I'm trying to incorporate my monitors now. So the monitors that I use standard again, just KRKs, Rocket Fives. Uh, pretty standard again like not nothing crazy I recently realized I hadn't had my room set up right that's why there's a bit of a gap between the wall and the computer because I wanted to try and get that equilateral triangle between uh, me who sits here and the speakers I got it the settings on the back had not adjusted. So I used the KRK app and the kind of calibrated my speakers properly. So yeah, pretty good. And now I'm liking it and I wasn't getting much low end. I would always have to like come right back here to get any of the low end. That's not, not really what you want. So, I finally getting my mixes sounding a bit better and just more comfortable. Cause I would always be switching to the headphones as well. So. Aye, I've also got my PlayStation there as well. It's a handy wee, just comes through the same monitor. It's a good setup. Uh, and then I've got, this is the mic that I use for all my videos and any, pretty much everything. I don't really have anything else. I've got three of these, luckily. I got them as part of working as for the podcast and managed to buy them off. Uh, people do the podcast with. So we bought three of these and with all the stands and everything, pop shields all come. Uh, so yeah, the SE X ones, sex ones. But yeah, this is what they are, sex ones. 
They're actually good. Like probably a like 120 quid condenser mic. I watched the video on podcasting mics. What was the best? And this was the one that stood out to me from the sound. And it, yeah, they just sound quite like warm and I'm a fan. I've got two more of those over there. Uh, this is my little record player. Audio Technica again. It's old though. I got it off of eBay because uh, you can just USB out into your computer and it'll record it. But I like to do this. So I've got this thing. Uh, so it's going in there and back out. Yeah, so they come in as an in and you don't really have to adjust the gain or anything on them. That's obviously the monitor outs, which are going to my monitors. But yeah, that just means I can always have it on and it comes up as an input, I think five, six, you should record straight in. So yeah. Uh, what else we got? These are all my records. Oh, got the majority of them from my father-in-law to be. He was throwing them all out. Or not throwing them out, I'm gonna give them to charity shops or something. And I was like, yo, can I get them? So here's some favorites. Got this for my birthday, Kuanuka, very nice. Uh, good for sampling. Paul Simon, David Bowie, Beatles. Fleetwood Mac. I've got this MIDI keyboard here. I don't really use it as much as I probably should, but I end up just using uh, just using this keyboard here if I want to make bass patterns or something like that. Uh, oh, my percussion box. Recorder. Bells, cowbells, clavers. Yeah, good to have. My SPD over here. See this is an SPD. Got a dehumidifier because it's horrible. Damp. Uh, yeah. And my drums are locked away somewhere. But yeah, this is my setup. I'm a vlogger. <laughs>